Hello, how are you doing everyone? This is Dr. Kyle Morton here to give you a tutorial for week 7. Uh, week 7 assignment 13-1 on your own. So let's get started. Um, first, come over to week 7 in Blackboard. As I click here, scroll down. This brings you to week 7 on your own assignment. Click on this link. So it brings you to this page and everyone should have their data files already downloaded. If you don't have your data files downloaded yet, be sure to go to week six. Click on week six. Go down to the assignments. Click on it on your own and download the data files with this link here. Once you have done that, you will unzip them and you should see a list of these files. And you should have already have these files downloaded if you complete the week six assignment. But if you're late to the party, uh, no worry. Um, please do so by following follow, following the instructions I just gave you. So let's resume back to week seven. Scroll all the way down to the assignment here. Um, so to get started. I'm using a PC, so I'm going to click on the on your own 13-1 PC version. If you're using a Mac, the instruction should be should not be that far different. So now I have the instructions open. I'm going to split my screen here. Uh, and so, looking at the first thing to do, it says open the data file setting located in your 13 on your own, um, which is in your data files. So, I found the, the file setting here. I double click to open. My Excel will open up, and now I have the actual file that we're going to manipulate and change for this assignment. I type in my name. Core section, I think that's correct. I'm not sure. Uh, professor name should be Dr. Morton. And you can just put Sandy here. And make sure you put PC. So, now this is your, these are your worksheets at the bottom. Um, and this is your title worksheet, and this is worksheet one. This assignment will, will require you to create more worksheets, so I'm just making that um, obvious and stating that now so that you will know what the worksheets are and how to create one. To create a new worksheet, you will click on this new worksheet button. But let's start and go to step two for this assignment. Let me adjust the window a little bit. Okay. This assignment is a little difficult. Um, it's a little confusing, especially if you never used Excel before. So just bear with me and follow along as much as you can. Um, so it says rename the worksheet one to sales history. I'm a copy and paste person. That's just who I am. What I like to do. So I'm going to copy and paste sales history. If you don't want to copy and paste, um, you can just type it in. But you will come here. To the Excel document, right click on worksheet one, go to rename, and there you will type in or paste sales history. Now you will go to step three, and it says to insert 12 rows at the top of the sales history worksheet. Now, to do that, the easiest way to do that is to highlight 12 rows. As such, right click and go to insert. Uh, and you want to go shift cells down. And we hit OK. It creates 12 rows and shifts the other rows down. And as you have noticed, however many rows you highlight, that's how many rows will be created. So you're good with that. Now let's go to step four. 
Step four says increase the width of column A to 23 characters and increase the width of column B to 14, or, I'm sorry, column B through F to 14 characters. So we come here, go to column A, and right click, format cells. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't want to format cells. Right click, column width, and it said 23 characters, so we 23, hit OK. And it says these want to go to 14. I'm not mistaken. Let's go verify and make sure. Yes, 14 characters. So we highlight these columns B through F by just holding, clicking, and holding B and going straight to F and letting go. Then you will right click on one of them, go to column width, and we'll type in 14. Click OK. Voila. Number five says copy the contents of range B13 um, through F13. Paste the contents of the clipboard in the range B7 uh, through F7. Now, this colon here, that means through. So when I say B13, this colon means through F13. Just an FYI, you guys. So. B13 to F13. Let's find B. So we go to B, come down to 13, which is here, and it says go to F13. So come down to F13 right here. F13. B13 to F13, which is here. Copy. And it says paste it in B7 through F7. So we find B7, come here, which is here, and we go to F7. And we paste it, just like such. Now, I'm going to redo this so that you all can follow along because uh, I did move pretty fast. So I'm going to once again highlight B13 to. F says F. I'm sorry, F13. I'm going to right click, copy or Control P, which is better for you. I'm going to go to B7, go to F7, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste. As such, and you can just hit Enter. Now I'm going to come on down to step 16. I'm sorry, step six and. It says in the range A8 through A11, enter the following data. So I'm going to kind of have split screens here so I can see what they want me to copy and paste or enter as data. So it says A8, so you come to A, and here's 8. You're going to type in total pizza serve. Come to a nine average per month, ten maximum, eleven, a eleven minimal, and that should do it. Now, next step says select range B twenty six through F twenty six. So we come down to B, find 26, which is here, um, and then we're going to select from B26 to L26. So I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see. And select it right quick. B, L, 26, 26. And then calculate using the auto sum. Uh, button to get the total piece of serve. So to do that, we have highlighted this B26 through F26, and to calculate the total, we're, we're just going to just click on the button, just click on it, which is the auto sum button under the home tab, and it sums up your columns for you. You can do the math, do it by hand if you want to, if you don't trust the computer, but it should be accurate. 
Um, so step eight says drag and drop the calculated values that are in the range B26 to L26 to range to the range B8 to F8. So we're not going to copy. We're just going to drag and drop. Now this is kind of tricky if you don't have a steady hand. So try your best to keep your hand steady. So what we are going to do, we are going to highlight B26 to F26, and we are going to hover over the green outline of these cells. As you can see, my crossbar has changed from, I guess, the thick plus sign to more of a crossbar. You're going to click and hold it once that crossbar changes as such. And you're going to drag it up to B8 through F8 and let go. And as you can see, our row has moved. And that completes step eight. So step nine says do the same thing, but we're going to off some and use the average of pizza served. So we're going to highlight B26, B20, uh, B26 to F26. We're going to, this time we're not just going to click all of a sudden. We're going to click on this drop down next to it and go to click on average. Boom, now we have an average. Easy as cake, right? Now we're going to drag it up to the top. Boom. That completes step nine. Now it says for step 10, oh, Step 10 is the drag part. We did two steps in one. We're pretty good. Now, step 11, it says do the same thing, but this time we're going to do the maximum. So we're going to come down here once again, highlight B26 to F26. We're not going to click all the song, but we're going to click the drop down once again. This time we're going to click the max. Just a mathematical function to get the max. And this gets the max value in each column. And we're going to drag it up to maximum. As you can see. Go over to see our instructions. Um, now, that was step 12. I'm sorry, that was step 11. Now, let's complete step 12, which it wants us to do the minimum of the same thing. Now if I'm losing you, just read the instructions carefully and it shouldn't be that difficult to follow. Or you can just rewind this video to get a better understanding of what's going on. So step 12 said we want to get the minimum here. We want to get this minimum. So using this data, we're going to highlight B26 to F26, click the drop down and go to min. Now we have the minimum and you know, click on the outline, click hold it, drag it up to the top. Now we have our minimum. Now that completes 12, step 12, and now we are at step 13. And now I have completed steps 1 through 12 for you, and I'm going to leave the rest of the steps for you all to complete. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, hopefully, this tutorial gave you a good understanding of how to use Excel. Um, some of these steps may be a little difficult to, to complete, um, but for the most part, they should be easy for the most of you all. I think we've done the, 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 the tough steps. Uh, if, you have, if you need further references, please use YouTube um, and Google. Um, other than that, have a beautiful day and see you next time.